Hello, I am Noe Shins from the Cisco TAC wireless team. In this video, I will explain the difference between the access points manufactured with raw domain and the ones manufactured with a classic domain. I also cover the most common problems you might see with this type of AP and how to solve any country mismatch issue. First of all, what does raw stands for? Raw stands for rest of the world. Cisco has unified multiple domains in a single raw domain. This starts with the 9124 and 9136 AP model and continues with the Wi-Fi 6C access point model. Other AP models that are not part of the raw domain are still manufactured separately and do not require any specific procedure to join the wireless controller. It is important to check if the country in which you plan to install your access point is part of the raw domain or another regulatory domain. Note that raw models cannot be converted into a different regulatory domain. That is why the right regulatory domain must be ordered in the first place. If this is not the case, please contact your account or sales teams to get help ordering the right AP model. The list of countries that are part of the raw domain depends on the AP model, but also on the software version the AP can be running. More and more countries are added in each version. You can verify which countries are added in this list by checking the support page of the AP model using the following link. On this link, select the AP model you would like to check. Say you want to check the 9162 AP model. Scroll down to the Technical References section and download the XLSX file corresponding to the version you would like to check. In this XLSX file, select the Country to Tab Mapping Sheet and you can see the list of countries that are part of the raw domain for this AP model on this specific version. Now that you verify the country is part of a raw domain for the AP model and the AP version you can use, you can see how to join a raw access point to a wireless controller. The country code does not need to be configured on the WLC for the AP to join it. In this example, you can see that a 19164 raw access point is joined to a controller running 17.12.3, which only has the BE country code configured. This country code is not part of the raw domain, but the AP still joined the controller. However, if the country code is not configured on the AP join profile and the global country list, you can notice that the AP is joined, but it can show as misconfigured. A red dot can appear on the dashboard to indicate an issue. If you click on the red dot, the controller can display the reason of the misconfiguration. You can see here it says country code. If you click on the AP number, you can see the list of APs that have a misconfigured country code. In this example, there is one AP that is misconfigured due to the country code. Access point in this case can have the radius down to avoid any country rule violation. To solve this kind of issue, you need to verify these things. First, the country code that you want to configure on the access point must be configured globally on the controller. For example, if the access point is in Brazil, you need to make sure to add the Brazilian country code to the global country list. Navigate to Configuration, Wireless, Access Point, scroll down to the Country tab and make sure the country is listed there. If not, you can add it. Here, you can see that I add the BR country code to the global country list. Do not forget to click the Apply button. Then, you can go to the AP join profile assigned to the access point and make sure that the country code is configured. Navigate to configuration, tags and profile, AP join. Click on the AP join profile and navigate to the general tab. You can select the country code that you can apply to the access point. In this example, it can be BR for Brazil. The recommended configuration is to have a different AP join profile per site, if these sites correspond to different countries. Thanks to the AP join profile, you do not need to configure each access point individually with the country code. Once this is done, you can verify the AP has been correctly configured by going to Configuration, Wireless, Access Point, click on the access point, go to the Advanced tab, and check the country code. 
Here, you can see that you have the BR country code applied to the access point. Now, both the 2.4 and 5 GHz radio must be up, and you must be able to configure the channels and power level according to the country regulation on the access point. In summary, these are the main points that you need to check in case you have a country mismatch with the raw domain access point. Is the country code configured on the AP John profile? Is the country code configured globally on the controller? Is the country code part of the raw domain? If you can answer yes to all these questions, then the access point must be provisioned correctly and operate normally. Thanks for watching this video.